Oh yeah! But god damn it, he only has 10% coconut water. So in this video, I will turn this incredible looking oak pearl into the world most expensive prime bottle with 100% coconut water. First I will start roughing up this nice little piece of burl. Obviously I could have done this on the table so trim of the edges and the corners but I do like to turn wood. Once it is all nice and run, I can pop the grain to show you what exactly it looks like. And just to give you a little backstory, obviously Prime only recently came to UK a couple of weeks or maybe one or two months ago and it has been super hyped um, since it was launched in the UK market and you can't really get them. So I think there are three different peoples when it comes to Prime. One of them being who doesn't give a monkey at all about Prime. The second person who is willing to go to the supermarkets 8, 9 o'clock in the morning wait for the shop assistant to restock the shelves and literally have fight with another customer just to get the bottle. And the third type of person is the one who is willing and wanting to pay a ridiculous amount of money to get the bottles off from eBay or go to an off-license store and buy the bottle for 10 times more than its retail value. So which category do you think I fall into? Obviously there is a bit of an excess material in the lid, it won't be as uh, thick and just to spice up the colours I will give this nice uh, Piduk hardwood just to give a little bit of an extra contrast to this project. And while we wait for the glue to cure I will start marking out where the letters will go. And I don't know how and why, but I haven't noticed that I completely messed up the writing and I started the wrong way around and you will see the actual design compared to my design. The lettering it is very, very different and starts from the bottom up to the top rather than in the prime bottle which starts from the top to the bottom. So could this be because I'm left-handed and I do everything a little bit differently or could this be a very smart design change so they can't sue me I'm leaning towards the first one and here I'm using my giant eraser to correct my mistake and while I wasn't blown away by its taste um, it tastes a little bit too sweet for me I do have to give credit to Logan and, and, and KSI for launching a business in a very competitive market and absolutely smashed it in terms of their revenue and, and marketing wise, they've done an absolutely cracking job. And to come up with a startup and have a, such a successful first year, I don't think there is too many business out there who can claim the same. So whether you like them or you don't, definitely a credit is to go towards them because they launched the business. And that's just my own personal opinion. I respect some people who have a very different opinion, um, but I would definitely give this credit. But more importantly, it's credit to their audience because obviously their success really done to a huge amount of followers and their incredible support. So credit to them. Alright, after a little bit of a buffling back to the project and I wasn't too sure what the best way to um, carve the letters out and I decided to go with a hand router. Obviously it will leave some marks and will be visible if it's done by hand but that was probably one of the best machinery to, to utilise in my workshop. And here I'm using a little bit of a sending sealer to uh, close the grains and hopefully we'll avoid the resin to sneak into the grains and leaving those uh, bed marks in the wood.
And here I'm mixing up my go-to Wister resin. And if you want to get going and be creative and you can use the code below, then you can get 5% back at the end of your purchase if you use the codes. And I also get a little bit of an extra Wister miles, which I can use to further purchase my resin. Link down below in the description along with the code if you missed it. I mixed a little bit more resin than I needed because I needed this little black resin for a different project and also will be pouring here a lot thicker than actually what I needed just because I'm using a deep pour resin so I needed the volume to make sure that it will fully cure and within reasonable time of course. So just trimming off the excess and it's never the greatest idea to use your bed saw and don't worry I'm watching out for my fingers because the hot glue can easily get into your blades and then it takes ages to clean up your blades. Even though I screw up the letters and it starts from the bottom up, I decided I will still add the grooves because that's what really gives the character to the bottle and make my look fairly similar to the prime bottle. However, I decided I will add the grooves in between the letters, so you will see at the end how it turns out. <laughs> So the plan for this project, I will also create a threaded lid, so I'm going to make and chase the thread, but I won't be using a traditional hand tool to do the thread chasing, I will be using the super sophisticated and contemporary solution from Simon Hope Woodturning, because I found doing this with hand tools seemed a little bit too difficult. But I'm sure with the relevant practice, or with the right practice, I could have done it with some hand tools as well, but this machine seemed to be a lot of fun. This machine is set to create 16 tooth per inch, and after each pass you just have to slightly adjust, which then will move the piece slightly closer to the cutter head and we will cut the thread into your lid and then we will repeat the same on the actual bottle. So I won't go into actual tutorial how to utilize this little jig. Simon Hope has a brilliant video detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on his channel how to use his own threading jig. And to ensure I can actually utilize this bottle in my workshop even though it won't hold a large quantity of liquids, I will be drilling a different size of holes all the way to the bottom, so actually it can take up to about 200ml of liquid.
And you got to love Rubio Monacourt, not just how it pops the grain, but oh my god, the smell is incredible. Just check out this amazing bell. And as I said, it will be the most expensive bottle in the world, but also 100% coconut water in it. And you can see the threaded lid in action. Oops. Oops. Refreshing.